Fish with seven million, and Daryl Fish has got his work cut out for him. He's only sitting on about a million and a half. Blinds are going up to one and two hundred, but you know Altman's play early on, the moves he made, so impressive. Just wasn't his night, but he's one of the world's best, that's for sure. Full by Jared Mahoney. All in. And an all in by Daryl Fish. On a snap call by Rayner with the ace jack. So Rayner well out in front here. And there you see a lot of the guys on the side rooting for Daryl, their buddy. Here comes the flop, 7-5-4. That's good for Daryl Fish. He's hit a five on the flop to take the lead. So a great flop for Daryl. And a king of spades on the turn. Everybody laughing because Rainer now has a flush draw. Oh, it sure does. Rainer has the ace of spades, so he can win the pot with an ace, a jack, or any spade. Daryl's got to sweat that last card. And it's a very safe three of hearts for Daryl Fish. The fish jumps off the hook. Woo! He's swimming back in the water, Vince. <laughs> he is safe for now. Now, finally, a smile out of Daryl Fish. Nothing's gone right for him at this final table, but anytime you double up, it puts pep in your step. He's a great player. <laughs> Four times at a final table on the WPT, but the championship title has eluded him so far. Well, Rainer Kempe with the two snowmen. He's going to raise it, makes it 400,000 to go. Race. Jared behind him with ace eight says raise. He goes to 1.2. Daryl goes out. All in. Rainer says all in. Well, now, what do you do with an ace eight? Jared Mahoney knows his tournament life is on the line if he gambles this hand and loses it. He's up against the chip leader, just doesn't want to put it all in there right now. He makes the lay down. He's got a healthy chip lead over Daryl Fish, who's in third place, and it's 110,000 more. Moving up from third to second place. Well, this game can disappoint you so fast, just when you get cocky. Yeah, just talk to Brian Altman about it. Here's a hand for you, two kings by Jared Mahoney. So happy he laid that last hand down now. Saying maybe there's some destiny here. 400,000 to bet. The men raise. Daryl Fish out. And Rainer gonna make the call. Jack eight versus pair of kings. Well, flop comes 10, 10, eight. This a flop could get Rainer in trouble. He's flop two pair, but Jared with the over pair. And he is now gonna bet 500,000. That Rainer is just going to call. Going to the turn. It is a seven. So possible straight out there now. Rainer with a gut shot straight draw. He's going to check two pair. And Jared is going to fire a million this time. Those pink chips, 100,000 each. He bets 10 of them. Kent, Rainer will get away from this hand. He's got 10s and 8s and a gut shot straight draw. Wow, what a lay down there by Rainer Kempe, and a good decision it was, as he was way behind. And Jared Mahoney slips to third place with just under four million. Blinds a one and two hundred action on Daryl Fish. And he's got the six nine of clubs, ops to fold. All in. Rainer Kempe going all in with two fives. Call. Jared with the insta call with the tens. So pair over pair, it's about as good a spot as you can be in when you're all in against somebody before the flop. Jared Mahoney picking up tens at the right time. Big favorite. Let's see the flop. Flops an ace, king, seven. Very safe for Jared. Ten still out in front. Rainer. Would love to spike a five, not to be three of diamonds. So we are off to the river. Rainer must catch a two-outer, a five, 
to eliminate Jared Mahoney from this tournament. It's a long shot, but possible. Can he do it? No, it's a six. So Jared Mahoney doubles up. There you see Jared's brother Nick, his girlfriend Dawn, in the house tonight rooting for their man. The former accountant, now coached by Anthony Zeno. Pretty impressive, he doubles up. Looking good here right now. He's got a queen jack of spades on this hand. Uh, that's a pretty good hand, playing three-handed poker. Raised. He'll make it 400,000 to go. Daryl goes out. Back on Rayner. Oh. Makes a call with the jack-10. Queen jack versus jack-10, and the flop is an ace jack-9. Well, both players slap a pair of jacks. Jared has him out kicked. Goes check, check on the flop. Going to the turn, it's a queen. So Jared now with two pair. Rayner has two jacks and an open in straight draw. Action's on him, he checks. And Jared is now gonna start betting 500,000. Rayner oh. gonna stick around, of course. Open ended and a pair of jacks. And the river card, no help for Rainer as the three of club appears. Check. Well, Rainer checks again. 1 and 1.3 million is quickly bet by Jared Mahoney. Jared wants the big payoff. Not gonna get it. Rainer making a nice lay down. Good lay down by him. So Jared running good again. Well, Vince, he's the chip leader <laughs> once again. There you see it. 9.4 million. There have been a few players in WPT history that have come from last place at the final table to go on and capture a title. I know Phil Locke and Tommy Vettis were two of those guys to do it. Daryl Fish on this hand has the queen jack of spades. Let's see if he can be as lucky. Gonna make it 450 to go. Rainer out. Jared is gonna squeeze. Oh man, pair of aces! He's just calling Vince, does not re-raise here. Gonna try to disguise. Wants to camouflage his hand. He's certainly done that by just calling there. Flop is nine, six, three with two spades. Daryl's got a four flush. Jared checking. And a four flush and two overcards. Certainly gonna bet it here, 450,000, but I think you're gonna see two aces. Check raise here. Well, that would be the time to attack, of course. He is going to raise it to 1.1 million. All in. Call. All in. There's the all in, and there's the call. So here it is Queen Jack of Spade versus two aces. Jared, a little disgusted. That his opponent's got that many outs to win the pot. Just one. Just one. He's a slight dog. Right now, he needs a spade. And he gets a spade! It's never easy. But it's still not over. Jared has the ace of spade. If another spade comes out, he will win the pot. Right now, Daryl. Has to avoid another spade. And he does so. Seven of hearts on the river. So with that double up, Daryl Fish is our chip leader with three left fence. Just incredible comeback for the fish. He's gone from a guppy to Moby Dick. All I'm going for their first WPT title. And for the first time, we see Daryl Fish out in front. Blinds are going up to 125, 250. Action on Rainer Kempe. He's got a miserable looking 10 3. Won't play that. Jared. Raise. Gonna raise it up here with the 8 7 of hearts to 600,000. 600, Into Daryl, who looks at one very strong card and two very strong cards. Ace King. Well, he's got a three betted here. Looks like about 1.3 million. Boom. And Jared's probably not liking that too much. Call. He is going all in, just hoping that Daryl didn't have a real hand. Daryl does, makes the call. Daryl in great shape to eliminate Jared from this tournament and be playing heads up for the title with a substantial chip lead. 
flop is a king jack five. Kings for Daryl Fish. Well, you see the agony, the look on Jared's face when he saw that flop. He knows he's got to hit two runners to win this pot now. Going to the turn. Well, he gets one of them as his three of our hearts appears. Well, there is a heart. Well, Daryl Fish been around a long time. He knows it's never easy. You're always holding your breath. Daryl Fish needs to dodge a heart on the river. If he does, he'll be the chip leader playing heads up for the title. Unbelievable. Oh, no! A heart comes off. It comes running heart, heart for Jared Mahoney to win that pot. Incredible. We haven't seen a fluctuation like this in a long, long time on the uh, World Poker really Tour. Brutal. That's really brutal. Well, had Daryl Fish won that pot, he'd had about 13 million. His opponent would add 8 million. Been playing heads up for the title. Now he's playing three-handed, and he's got half as many chips as both his opponents have. Wow. Moving on, Daryl goes out. And Rainer now with a six of diamonds, which is called in pair of fours by Jared. Will make it 650 to go. I'm in a state of shock here. All in. All in by Rainer. Wow. Wow, what do you do with two fours now? Best you can be in is a race. He's going to let it go, Vince, because he's up against the chip leader. He's back in action after that miracle draw out against Daryl Fish. Why not take a little rest? Don't jeopardize any more chips with just a pair. Don't go into a race. So once again, Rainer Kempe is the chip leader. Just back and forth we go. Jared gonna raise it on the button here. All in. Daryl Fisk gonna go all in with a king queen. And Rainer's got a pair of eights. It's raised by one guy, all in by the other guy. You've got nothing invested but the big blind. So you like a nice lay down, huh? It's the stick of play. I mean, there is a chance the guy could have a small pair, but much better chance he'll have two overcards. All in. All in. But he is going to go over the top all in. He's gambling, in my view, Vince. There. Yep. Figured sevens or eights. Well, he's wincing now, but he should have recognized he's going to be in a race. I mean, obviously, there's a chance that Daryl could have had two sixes or two sevens, but most of the time, he's going to have two overcards or an overpair in that spot. Daryl Fish just got terribly unlucky. Can he get lucky here? So far, so good. King wow. Queen. Flops two pairs. Well, that's why you don't want to race, folks, because you might lose it. <laughs> Daryl Fish, little revenge there, King Queen. Three of hearts on the turn, no help for Rainer. Rainer must catch an eight on the river. Otherwise, Daryl Fish will double up and again take the chip lead. Let's take a look. It's a king. So Daryl Fish making the best hand possible. Vance, once again, from the bottom of the ladder to the top of the ladder goes Daryl Fish. He's the chip leader with three left. I don't know why any of us play this game. It's like <laughs> the stress. It's so, it's, I guess it's what it's all about. WPT title, very gratifying. I love it that even when he's not in the tournament, he supports his friends all the time by watching them. It's, it's a nice thing. Daryl Fish deserves a win. Will he get it here tonight? Action on Rainer. Folds a 6 7. Race. Jared Mahoney with King Four Diamonds will raise. Daryl Fish has a real hand, though. Pair of 10s. Got the chip lead. And he will move it to 1.6 total. And Jared quickly gets out of the way. Daryl Fish. Even says he's evolved as a poker player tremendously over the last couple of years. He's more patient, he's calmer, he's much more focused at the table than he used to be, and it's paying off for him now. Well, he's into health and yoga and lots of deep thoughts, and so that can't hurt his poker game. All right, moving on. Daryl gets out of the way, and now Rayner with just a nine three of diamonds. Pardon. He is going to get fancy with it and push wow. all in. What a bold play. Jared's got queen deuce, but can't play. He goes out. I mean, he could play, but chooses to fold. Nice play by Rayner. Well, that worked out well for him. Not waiting for the big hands. You can't do that in three-handed poker game. You got to have moves out here. 
Grew up in Germany, now lives in Brighton, England. 26 years old. He's got Jack 10 here, Mike, and he's gonna make it 1.5 to go. Jared out. All in. Daryl Fish has picked up the ladies, pair of queens, all in. And a call by Rainer. Well, he only had a million left, Vince. Uh, he's pot committed, he's in there. Queen, queen, Jack 10. So here we go, two queens versus Jack 10. Daryl Fish, an 84% favorite to win this pot and be playing heads up for the title with a nice chip lead. Let's see the flop at the king, Jack six. Queen. He likes that flop, going to the turn. And a five comes off, so we're down to the river. Rainer must catch a jack or a 10. Nothing else will do for him. Otherwise, he'll be our third place finisher. Daryl Fish in a great place to knock out the German. All right, here we go to the river. It's a 10. Oh, no. A nightmare draw out against Daryl Fish. Wow. The draw outs we've seen at this final table, Vince. I don't think we've seen drafts like this in the history of the World Poker Tour at a final table. They're not making it easy, but it's uh, it's happening. It's still happening. Well, even though we lost that pot, <laughs> Daryl Fish still the chip leader. But still, your stomach has got to be doing somersaults. It's like he just got thrown in the dryer and the guy put it on high blast. You're just going around in circles right now. Horrible. And how mentally strong do you have to be, Vince, to not go on tilt at some point? All you people at home, I know you're saying, it's not possible this can keep happening. Defies all the laws of probability. You're right. But it's happening. <laughs> Daryl is staying with a good attitude, though. I can't believe it. That's what you have to do if you want to be a champion. Daryl Fish had one guy all in where he had to hit hard heart to stay alive. He did it. He had the next guy all in when he had two queens against a jack-10. This is ridiculous. I can't believe what we're seeing at this final table tonight. Now, Jared, this time with a six of clubs. And he makes the men raise after some thought. Daryl with a well-deserved break goes out, and now Rayner with a 9-7 of diamonds. All in. Oh, he's going to push with it. Bold play. Both these players have just over five million in chips. Rainer trying to muscle him out. Out. Oh. It's going to cost him about four and a half million more to make this call, Vince. Well, Rainer stole one earlier with a nothing hand. He's trying to do it again. Will it work this time? It will not. Good call. Jared has made the call. He's out in front with the ace high. If it holds up, we'll be playing heads up for the title. And Jared will have a slight chip lead, but let's see what happens here first. Rainer can't be moving all in with nine high. Can he get lucky to stay alive? And the flop is a nine seven deuce two pair for Rainer. He takes the lead with two pair. Well, Jared does have the nut flush draw with two clubs out there. But still, Daryl Fish just can't believe it. He sees the worst hand winning pot after pot. Going here. to the turn, will it be a club? It is a club. It's a club, but it's still not over. Rainer can make a full house and win the pot. Needs to catch a nine or a seven. And from what we've seen, it wouldn't shock me. Well, it's a five of clubs. He's done. That's going to do it for Rainer Kempe. He is going to be out. Play Jared Mahoney out in front with 11.8 million. Daryl Fish starting with 9 million. The Andes are up to 50,000. Blinds 153. Very expensive action on Jared. Race. He's going to raise it with a 6 4 offsuit, a min raise to 600,000. Daryl with a 5-6 suited connector, makes the call, no raise. And here we go with the flop. Yeah, flop, queen, jack, deuce, no help to either player. Daryl's going to check, and here comes the continuation bet by Jared. Half a million bet. And Daryl can't stand it. He's going to give it up, so Jared taking down that pot. And Vince, that shows you the importance of raising on the button, even with a junk hand if you play it. You get the last bet in before the flop. You make the continuation bet. You win a lot of pots that way. Seems so easy. Great to win when you have six high. Steal the pot. That's what poker's all about. Jared's going to raise with an A6 of clubs this time. Makes it 600,000. Daryl Fish calling with King Nine. And a good flop for Daryl as it comes King Eight Six. He's out in front with top pair. Jared's got bottom pair, and it goes check, check. Five of clubs on the turn. 
So after checking the flop, with the intent to check raise, I'm sure, Daryl is now going to bet on the turn. 700,000. Oh. He's going to get action. Jared's calling this. Down to the river we go. Now the board pairs eight. So it gives two pair for Jared. Daryl Fish, of course, with the higher two pair. Daryl not afraid. Going to stick out another bet. Close to 1.3. Well, Jared in a tough spot now. He knows that all he can beat's a bluff, but good chance that Daryl could have it with the texture of this board. So he's going to make the call. So Daryl Fish takes over the chip lead. Daryl Fish has made the final table four times. Will he become a champion tonight? We will see. We're coming back for more. And chips, Jared Mahoney with 8.8 .8 million. And will it be Daryl Fish's time to become a champion on the WPT? We will see. The Andes are up to 50,000. Blinds two and four. Action on Jared. He's got a pretty solid king queen. He's going to raise it here on the button. Makes it 800,000 to go. Daryl Fish with a king five will stick around. So king queen versus king five, and the flop is a king seven six. Now well, this could get Daryl Fish in serious trouble. Both opponents the flop top pair. Daryl is out kicked. Just hard to get away from top pair playing heads up poker. And Jared has bet 700,000. Daryl calling this. Needs a lot of help here. This could get costly. Turn card. He's a seven, pairs the board. Now Daryl's gonna check. And Jared might be fearful that Daryl made three sevens on the turn. So he also checks. Now the nine of spade comes off. So now possible straight, possible flush out there. Now Daryl checks again, and with that check, Jared feels like his king's up are the best hand. So he is gonna make a wager here, 1.5 million. It's just hard to get away from Kings up here, I think. His opponent checked on the turn. You thought he'd have bet Kings on the turn. He didn't. He makes the call. He kept the pot size down. He paid that off, but could have been a lot worse. Can't blame him for calling the way that hand was played. With that pot, Jared Mahoney takes over the chip lead in this heads-up battle. And you have to respect both of these guys. They conduct themselves well at the table. They don't whine. They don't moon. They take a beat, they just move on and play. Daryl Fish calling. Jared with a nothing three deuce of clubs. Well, happy to see a flop. It's an eight, ace, five. Well, Jared with a gut shot straight draw, checks. Daryl with two eights, have to feel like that's the best hand. You'd think for sure your opponent would have raised you if he had an ace in his hand. So Daryl bets 400,000. But look at this, the check raise by Jared Mahoney here with just a wheel draw. Daryl just not buying he's got an ace fence because he didn't raise before the flop makes the call. Astute call by Daryl Fish. Big pot brewing and a jack of hearts on the turn. And that's going to slow down Jared. He checks. Daryl checks behind him. River card. My 10 comes off. Well, Jared knows the only way he can win this pot is to bluff at it. He can't beat any two cards that Daryl might have. He's just got three deuce in his hand, but he's going to make a solid bet of 1.5 million. About half the size of the pot. Now, Vince, Daryl didn't believe he had an ace in his hand before. The guy checked on the turn. Could he have a 6 7 here? Wow, I'm surprised Daryl laid that hand down, Vince. I think if he loses this tournament, he'll look back at that pot and he'll say, you know, I should have called him with the two eights there. How could the Jack and 10 would have helped that guy? It might have made him two pair, but sometimes you just have to look him up. Blinds are going up to 25500 right now. Ace King here for Jared. Getting the goods. Starting to get a nice rush going. He's going to make it a million to go. Min raise. Daryl Fish with an ace as well, oh, but boy. worst kicker, of course, with a deuce. Look how things have turned around. Jared bluffed the last pot and won it. All in. All in. Oh. Call. Now he's picked up Ace King against Ace Deuce, and they're both all in. Daryl Fish is at risk. Deuce. Need two. Daryl wants to hear some quacking going on here. If not, it's over. Jared Mahoney's dream of winning the WPT title is right here on the line. If the Ace King holds up against the Ace Deuce, he'll be our champion. And here's the flop. It's an Ace 8-7. They both flop Aces. 
Daryl Fish in a lot of trouble with the worst kicker, of course. Well, they can split the pot if it come ace eight, eight eight, seven seven. Going to the turn. It's not a deuce, it's a six of clubs. We are down to the river. Daryl Fish must catch a deuce on the river, otherwise he will be our runner-up. He will be out, he'll be gone, he'll be swimming with the fishes, and it's over, five of clubs. So Jared Mahoney's dream of capturing a WPT title comes true tonight. Well, Jared Mahoney came in as the short stack. He is now the champion, taking home huge dollars. What an effort by him.